This is the plaintiff, Michelle. She says she rented her rustic cottage to the defendant and the woman lit off some fireworks which burn holes in some plastic pipes on her front lawn, causing a leak, and she had to hire a plumber to replace them. When she confronted the defendant about paying the bill, the woman stopped payment on the rental, wrote a scathing review online, and posted pictures of someone else's dilapidated house. Some people. She's suing for $1,759.80, the amount she's owed for the rental and repairs. This is the defendant, Stacy Collins. She says the place was not cleaned before her arrival. The bathroom didn't even have a door, just a shower curtain. And there weren't three bedrooms as advertised, there was just one. The woman also accused her of melting her pipes. You're darn right she reversed the payment because this place was a disaster and she refuses to pay. She's accused of being a rotten renter. All parties, please, dear audience. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff rented a rustic cottage to the defendant, and the defendant lit fireworks off, which burned holes in a pipe, and then had the audacity to write a bad review online. Now, the defendant says the place was a mess when she moved in. It's the case of your place doesn't sparkle anymore. Thank you, Doug. You're welcome, ma'am. Okay. Um, Michelle, what general area is this uh, rustic cottage that you own in? It's in the Finger Lakes region? It's in the Finger Lakes region uh, okay. in upstate New York. And it's on a lake? Correct. All right, so this cottage, you rent it out by the week? Yes, I do. And you rented it out to the defendant. Had you ever stayed there before? No. How did you find the place? On uh, HomeAway. Which is a website that hooks up homeowners with people who want to rent the house. Correct. So how much were you charging to, for a week's stay? I was charging... Um, 1624 14... That was with the security deposit. Do you have the original advertisement? I have screenshots of it that I took from my phone while I was there. Um, Let yes. me see that. Okay. So you apparently... Um, contested it with the credit card company. I did, yes. All right, now this is the advertisement that you took screenshots of. Seasonal rustic cottage, early 1900s hunting cabin, 385 foot beachfront that is shared with the lake house, but no one else. Double beds, two. Futon sofa that can double as a bed in the common room. Alcove bunk bed. Um, so what happens is you're very unhappy with the rental Correct. and you end up contesting it with your credit card company. So let's go to you first and tell me what you were unhappy with because that's what makes sense given how things worked out. Tell me. Okay. Uh, when I in initially arrived at the cottage, the one thing we noticed was that the bathroom where the shower was, which is visible from the stairs when you go up the stairs. How is it visible? It just has a curtain. So the shower is there, and then there's a toilet that also has its own curtain. So that was the first thing that caught me off guard because it okay, says. Okay, hold on. Because there was nothing about, oh, we don't have a real bathroom. Like you assumed it was four walls and a door. Right, which they, okay, there wait. is a half bathroom that does have four walls and a door, but the shower does not have so four walls. So when you shower and you're naked, anybody going up and down the stairs can see you? Yes. Okay, hold on. Do you have pictures of what you're saying? Yes. Okay, what am I looking at? These are the stairs? Yes, those are the stairs going up, and that's the shower. Okay, and then there, but, and this curtain? That's where the toilet is. Okay, and this curtain is the shower curtain or Correct. some other curtain? It's the shower curtain. And then the, is there another curtain that would block you from view? No. Is this a picture of your place? That is the picture of the downstairs bathroom. The, what, the, is, that's the only shower, right? That is the only shower. So is it accurate that somebody going up and down the steps will see the naked person showering? Not if they have their shower curtain drawn. Absolutely not. The well, I'm still seeing, it depends on how high you are on the steps. <laughs> well, like if this shower curtain was closed, I assume the steps go on. I could take myself a peek. I no, mean, you can't, Your Honor. I have had this property for over 20 years. Um, I have had one other person complain about the lack it's kind of privacy. Of something to, if you don't have four walls and a door around your bathroom, you should probably say that because it's uncommon. But in any event, what else was your problem? Um, it was filthy when we got there, which we knew it was rustic, so that really wasn't our well, filthy concern. and rustic are two different things. Right. Right. So um, 
When later on that night when I went to make dinner, I pulled a, a pan out of the cabinet and there were mouse droppings in it. Yeah. And then around the stove, it's really filthy. You can see mouse droppings. Do you have pictures of that? Yes. Did you have somebody clean before they came? Absolutely. Who did you have clean? I, I mean, have a, a, did, is that, do you have an affidavit from that person or a receipt to prove that somebody cleaned? I, um, no, I'm sorry, I don't, but okay, I have, of course, someone pictures. clean before every, um, before every renter. Okay, have you seen the pictures I'm about to look at? Because it's disgusting. I gotta yes. tell you, what is, what is this a picture what, what, of? That's by the toaster. And then these are mouse droppings on the pan? Correct. And this is the toaster. Yes. Yeah. So it's just more. Yeah. I don't know that anybody cleaned there. So if you actually, put, well, what's this? You're on it. Hold on a second. What's this? Um, that's the microwave. Yeah. It's gross. I mean, uh, I, if you paid somebody to clean, you need to hire somebody else. Well, you're on I know it. those are close up pictures, but t why don't you take a look at them first? Have you seen these pictures? Yes, I have seen these okay, pictures. Go ahead, go ahead. And I think these pictures were taken after she had been there a while because there were no They're mouse droppings. You thought you think she brought them with her? No, but I think that there was food potentially left out or crumbs around the toaster that attracted the mice. So does she call you when she comes in and says, hey, this is filthy. Come and get somebody no, to clean? No, she did not. And part why of my rental agreement. Why didn't you do agreement. that? If it was so filthy when you came in, why didn't you just say to her, hey, this is unacceptable. Come have somebody clean. Well, when I had arrived, I was advised to contact whoever the rental manager is. So I called and they went through all the rules. And then the next day, um, there was an instance where the people from the lake house had gone down to the waterfront and they walked right past the cottage and they didn't say anything. So it just sort of caught me off guard. So I went down there saying, are you supposed to be here? So that's why I'm going to the story. And so when I reached out to the rental manager and said that that is just one of many reasons I would not have rented the place and I went into- Wait, what is just one of many reasons? The fact that there was someone else? No, the fact that they just walked by, they didn't say anything, so it made us feel like they didn't belong there because she had told me on the phone that somebody had stolen one of the kayaks before. So I was concerned that these people didn't belong there. So I went down there and said, okay, I didn't think anybody else was gonna be here. But the advert didn't the advertisement say that you ch share the beachfront with one other house? Correct, yes, it did say that. Is but that the person you were seeing there? Is that yes. the person who was in that other house? Yes, okay. so I was just expecting some notification to say, okay, the lake house is rented, you may see other people down there when you're down there. But just the, some the advertisement up. said that. It did, yes. Okay. Um, so when I was talking to the rental manager and I said, in the shower, like, are you kidding me? That's not even a shower. No communication after that. What day did you move in there? The 29th. While you're there, you're there seven days. Do you Correct. guys shoot off? It's for the 4th of July. Yes. Do you guys shoot off fireworks? Yes. Okay. And where are you shooting off the fireworks? Down by the water. All right. And what else was wrong with the place? At some point you see a roach? Yeah, it was the night before we were leaving. We saw two roaches scurry across the floor when we opened the door. Okay. How many people did you have staying there? Um, it was me, my boyfriend, my daughter, and then another couple and their daughter. So how many? Six. Six total, people. including myself. Right. So six people were staying there. All right. Correct. You end up running into those other people that were staying at the lake house or no? Yes. All right. And did that go okay? Well, the first conference, the first instance was when I said, you know, I'm not sure you're supposed to be here. You know, we were told we got this private beach. And she said, oh, that's my aunt's house. I'm staying at the lake house. And I said, oh, okay. I just figured we would have been made aware that people were going to be walking right down the cottage because it's they share a stairway to get down. So. Okay. All right. So now, you know, mouse droppings, roaches, I know it's the woods. I mean, I got it. But most of all, the shower thing. Um, so talk to me about that because you have since changed how you advertise it, correct? I added some pictures to display what the shower was. Uh, well, you all, don't you now you... describe the shower? No. Let me see your new advertisement. Um... So right now it's on the photo page. If you hit the back, then you can see the rest of the Thank you. listing. I went down on July 1st at, to the beachfront with the intention of introducing myself to Stacy and um, let ask, having known uh, what she had said, I uh, asked her, um, you know, how's it going uh, so far? Do you have any concerns or problems? Um, she said, literally, she said, things are fine. Okay. I said, if there are any problems or concerns, please okay. let me know. Uh, here's a much better picture of how you can peek into this shower. If, if this is closed 
and someone's here that can totally check your naked body out. No, they, I'm Absolutely, sorry. Absolutely, ma'am, look, there's the, the there. rod is going from a wall to three rungs down, so you can absolutely see it, absolutely. So it's much better that you now put a picture of it. All right, what, um, did you two ever talk and try to come to some kind of agreement on it? I had called her, I called her especially after uh, the fire, but even- Oh, let's talk about the pipe, we didn't talk about that, yes. go ahead. So uh, the next time I hear anything is actually through my uh, niece's husband, Jeff, who said he was walking by the cottage and he was approached by, um, they assumed her husband, um, a male guest, uh, saying that there was water spraying in front of the cottage. Uh, he immediately called me and said, um, this is a concern that they have. Um, and uh, I asked, you know. Okay, so you called a plumber and you got the pipe fixed and you think that they ruined it. So the plumber came the next day. He said there has been fire damage to the pipe. Okay. And he did not want to repair it because he wanted to, he knew there was also electric wire that ran near that pipe. But it was very obvious that there was a trail of scorch ground. Yes, I do. Is it your premise that what is she holding in her hands? This is a pipe with oh, with the yeah, burn that's damage. Good. <laughs> who is who is that? Nice lady next to you. That's my sister. Okay. Yeah, that's burn damage. This is damage that was not there before they arrived. Uh, obviously, by the fact that they told um, my uh, niece's husband on July 4th at around 6 o'clock, uh, that the water was spraying, that there had not been, uh, that they had not noticed it really before then or before that day. Can I ask you a question? What day were they shooting fireworks? I have no idea. Well, I what don't day know were about... you shooting fireworks? It was late on 4th of July. Right, so if they report it beforehand, then how can it be their fault? How many roaches in a place before you move out? Uh, maybe like two. Two roaches. Yeah. So one one doesn't do it, but two. No, nah, cause like they could just like come in from like the door on like accident. Gotcha. Like, How many roaches? Uh, honestly, like five. Um, <laughs> this is hysterical. Five. Um, two. Sir. One. Well, I was waiting for one. Why one? There's a reason why one. Because if there's one roach, there's gonna be more. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Boom. Going inside the guard room. I'm saying. All I know is fire damage was done. Yes, I understand, but you are suing, you, you know, you are suing her. In your lawsuit, you say they need to pay the pipe repair. So Correct. why would they need to pay the pipe repair? You're I, I, I understand they threw fireworks and I understand that it is burned. But I also understand that first it's burned and then later they throw fireworks. That's why I'm saying, how can it be that? I, I do it not. It could be the I people who were there before. I am not assuming that it was fireworks. Well, no, fireworks. you're suing them for it. I'm you sorry. are assuming. <laughs> no, I am, I am assuming that some kind of fire damage was done and that some was amber- Was there a fire? No. Okay. We so were, you just see the spraying water, you call them, it gets repaired, that's all you know. When is the first no. time that someone says you did something to the pipe and you have to pay for it? When is that? After my review and All right, so what's the, how does it work? The first thing that happens is you call them and say, I want a refund? So I left her a note. Uh, like I said, the night before is when we saw the roach. So I left a dead roach on the stove and I wrote her a note saying full refund expected. Then I followed up on July 12th saying, I'm just following up on the refund status. And then that's where the communication went back and forth. Right, but why would you ever think that you would get a full refund? Why is that reasonable? You guys stayed there for uh, seven days. Six we people did. got seven days lodging. Why would we that did. be fair, be a full refund? Because I called around and it's 4th of July and there's no availability. That doesn't change the fact that you got to use it right. for seven days. Six people got to use it for seven days. Right. It doesn't change that fact. And I totally agree, but there right. was no negotiation as far as, okay, well, I'll give you 50% because you did stay there a week. I understand that you had some issues. There was nothing. She was not willing did to offer. Did you offer that? I did not, no. Right. All right. I think that she's entitled to some of the money back. I don't think she's entitled to all of the money back. Um, I am going to order her to pay you $1,000, which is discounting it by, you know, a good third. And More that includes the 
damage that was done to the water pipe? No, because you have no proof that she damaged the water pipes. So any uh, yeah, no, we're, we're, I'm sorry. Right. You have no proof that she did something to damage your water pipes. It could have been burned by the last person who shot fireworks. I shoot fireworks all year long, okay? I don't know if it got burned by something else. You have zero proof. They were already talking about it before they hit the first fireworks. They complained July 4th. So it can't be their fireworks that did it. So all you know is that you have a burnt pipe and you didn't have a burnt pipe before or you didn't notice a burnt pipe before. See, that's the problem. It could be a burnt pipe that degrades and degrades and degrades a little more and a little more with the water pressure. So you don't have proof that that's their fault. I am ordering you to pay her $1,000 because six people stayed there seven days. But I am, I'm going to allow you to keep $624.80 as a discount for the problems you encountered. That is my verdict, folks. Good luck. So the plaintiff is going to get $1,000 for the rental. Ms. Collins, what do you, what do you think about the outcome? Well, that's what the judge decided, so that's okay. I mean, obviously, you did spend the six days there, seven yep. days, really. Yep, so. and I probably would have went through this fight had I left and found some other place. So we decided to stay, tough it out. Okay, that's the way it works. Thank you very much. You must sign a few documents. Now, Michelle, the plaintiff is on her way out of the courtroom. I know you're not thoroughly happy with the, uh, the judge's decision, but you're going to get some money back for this. Yes, but uh, I'm mainly here today because I feel that people should not get away with paying nothing for something. And I feel I was very clear how primitive the cottage was, as well as I was not saying I knew that it was fireworks, but that it was fire damage. The fire damage did not exist prior to their yeah, tenant. but you had no proof it was her. But don't you think it's a little unfair to advertise a place with a bathroom and have no door? Um, I have learned that I need to be absolutely clearer Clear. about what that is. But in 20 years of renting this property, nobody's as it complained is, before. Uh, one person actually no. after uh, the defendant, but before that. And my intention has been actually to try to figure out how to put stairs there okay. in the space that's allotted. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. All right, Harvey. I mean, look, Doug, the plaintiff had a theory, but it's not supported by evidence, and you need evidence. And therefore, that's why you didn't get the money for pipe repair.